With any hard drive comes the need to organize your files, but even the most structured organizer can still have those days when finding that needed file is a challenge. With that said, when I need to find content, I use as many functional helpers as possible, one of which is the saved search feature in Mac OS X. To create a saved search, the first thing I do is click on the desktop, then go to the file menu and select find. It will then bring up a new finder window where I can input search criteria. For the menu here, I'm going to select kind, and you see that it has other options as well. Last open, created date, name, contents, and so forth, even an other for you to search uh, more criteria options. For this one, I want to select file extension, and I'm looking for files with the extension NEF. These are image files, camera raw image files. And if you look over to the right hand side of the finder window, you'll see a save button and you'll see a minus sign where you can remove information. And you'll also see another set of icons where I can add or remove criteria. For this particular search, I only want to search for NEF files. So I want to save this. So let's select save and I want to save this as NEF files. Where is this search criteria saved? Well it's saved in the user library and it's saved in a save searches folder. I'm also going to leave add to sidebar selected because I want to be able to click on these in the sidebar and you see that down here in my lower window. So let's choose OK or choose save. The search function is now saved here in my finder window on the sidebar side. Let's uh, select NEF and you'll see all of the NEF files on my computer. So they are now available for me to just click on and bring them up. But let's take a step back for a moment and look at that uh, saved search feature again. Clicking on the desktop, going back to find, file find, and I want to go back to the kind menu and I want to select other. And here you can see the other options that you can search for. Uh, and they're listed in alphabetical order and there's quite a list here. Let's scroll down and you'll see that there are tons of items that you could create a saved search for. And over to the right here you'll see in menu. You, if you click on any of these check boxes, it will then place this item in that kind menu so that you don't have to constantly come back to this dialog box to uh, add options. But you have attribute, you have description, and you have in menu. So it allows you to create saved searches for a lot of different things. So finding content on your computer can be just a saved search away. I hope this was helpful. This is Sheeta Hunter. Until next time.